Welcome dear friends. We wonder many a times, why does one person have it all? Whereas the rest are struggling to make ends meet. Why are some loaded with abundance? Abundance of wealth, friends, time and of course luck. And some drowned in lack at all times. Have you been whining with comparisons like these? Can you see a pattern in your friends? Dig deeper. The truth shall shine, blinding all illusions. Today we'll ask the angels from this beautiful deck by Jerry and Esther Hicks. Today the angels tell us, once again reminding us of this very, very deep-rooted fact. The law of attraction responds to the vibrations of my stories. Yes, of course. All those little stories and the mind chatter that we keep doing with ourselves every day. Mm, I'm not too good. I'm not too well. I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can do that. Oh, I'm never lucky. Oh, my friend always gets the best. And all these stories accumulate within you, within your energy. The universe catches on that energy, that vibration. And the stories you tell come true sooner than you think. So today the angels want you to know that you can accomplish this change in every experience, but you have to begin to see your world differently. You need to move ahead to tell a different story. You cannot tell the same story and expect a different ending. You need to move ahead, friends. You need to change all this mind chatter. I call it the Charlie chatter that keeps on going. I remember these old time Hindi movies where we could see one shoulder there's a devil and one shoulder there is, you know, this little angel sitting across. And most of the times we keep listening to this devil on one shoulder. And what does the devil do? The seeming devil or the seeming lowest end of the goodness within us keeps chattering all these little stories in our mind constantly. And we think at the end of the day that we are no good, that we really cannot go any further than where we are. Not at all. Angels assure you that you can change that and change that for yourself and for others too around you. They also ask you to choose the direction of your thoughts and the way you feel the way you think, the way you speak. Create vibrations that emit positivity. You need to know that we all are vibrational beings. We are emitting this electromagnetic field constantly all the time. You may move into a room where there are 20 people. You may strike a conversation with one, but not even say a hello to the rest or to another. Why? You may go and say, oh, I hid house on fire with someone and oh, I just didn't like his face or her face. Why does it happen? It's because of the vibrations that we are constantly emitting. It's because of the frequencies not meeting at a mutual point. And it is that displacement of the vibration and energy that causes these things to happen. So change your thoughts, change your feelings change your emotions and most importantly change those silly stories that you have been talking in your mind and you shall see how wonderfully the law of attraction shall work for you just the way it's worked for me and for anyone else in this world we all live in an abundant universe and we just need to know that there is no dearth of stars in the sky flora on the land we need to nurture our abundance consciousness. There is no dearth of angels with wings in the sky or angels in human forms around us. Open your heart and be ready to receive friends. Stay blessed, loved and protected in love and light and Godspeed.